Number 12 on our house inspection checklist is about laminate flooring and inspecting it. Now remember, laminate flooring, since it floats on top of the foundation, isn't going to provide us with a lot of information about structural foundation damage, large cracks, because like carpeting, it's separated from the flooring. So keep that in mind. Now, what you are going to be looking for is any gaps, <clears throat> separation, cracks, um, and, and of course, address the situation, what's causing them before making the repairs. Now, again, if you address it, hey, you know what? This stuff just um, separated because it, was, it wasn't installed properly. Fix it and you're done. But if you have a gap and you're thinking, wait a minute, when I installed this um, flooring or when you had it installed, this gap wasn't there. You know, and you could monitor that gap and see if it gets any larger. If it doesn't get any larger, it might not be a problem. And again, I'm, when it comes to flooring, uh, if it's not a safety hazard, if it's not creating a trip hazard, or if the flooring isn't um, slippery, you know, either way, some type of a safety hazard, your flooring is usually a sign that there could be a problem. It's not a sign that there is a problem. So if you see... Um, a small gap in your floor and it's not getting any larger don't worry about it just monitor it and see if it is so hey you know what this gap wasn't there before now it's there don't panic don't call hey I gotta call 911 we've got a big problem here um, monitor it if <clears throat> it gets larger if it's an eighth of an inch one year you know and then six months later it's a quarter of an inch that might be a good time to contact someone. But if it never gets larger than an eighth of an inch, I wouldn't worry about it. And again, that's just my personal opinion. If you're someone who worries about things and you need to get that stuff fixed, fix it. That's what your house inspection checklist is for. To find things that are wrong with your house and fix them. If you own a house, you should inspect it regularly. But how can you inspect a home if you don't know what to look for? If you're not looking for a complicated checklist or something that wasn't written in a language that you can't understand anyway, do yourself a favor and visit this website today. The most valuable investment you have must be protected and inspected.